TedRackCoach.com. The J&J Technus iHance IOL. What are the optics and what's the actual range of vision? Tell me about the Technus iHance and how it varies or differs from the regular Technus lens. Here are the two lenses. Let's give you the breakdown. As eye surgeons, we have to separate the marketing from the actual science and the physics and the optics of these various IOLs. Now we need to help guide our patients to the best lens for their condition, their biometry, their expectations, but also to set reasonable expectations. And a great source of actual data is this. These are the iHANS directions for use, also called DFU. And that's from the manufacturer, Johnson & Johnson Vision. Here's the source where you can download it yourself online. Let's go through this. Now, one section here says, the Technus Simplicity Delivery System model DIB00 contains the Technus iHANS IOL, which is a one-piece foldable poster chamber lens with an overall diameter of 13 millimeters and an optic of six millimeters. All optical IOL designs are associated with a certain amount of depth of focus. For monofocal IOLs, the amount of depth of focus is typically limited. Now here's the good part. The Technus iHANS IOL uses an aspheric anterior surface that creates a small, continuous increase in central lens power within the central one millimeter diameter. And there's the picture down there to show you. The Technus iHANS IOL is designed to slightly extend the depth of focus compared to the Technus one-piece model, model ZCB00, as measured in bench testing. Now, amazingly, you see the misspelling of depth of focus to department of focus? That's actually in the paperwork. It somehow slipped through. Here are the pictures that show this, and these are from Johnson & Johnson. And you can see the iHANS there in the center, that green zone, is a one millimeter zone where there's an increase in curvature power. That anterior surface is altered. 85% of the optic is the same. It's just that one central area. The next section says that the power profile decreases towards the periphery outside the central one millimeter diameter in a manner comparable to the Technus One Piece IOL model ZC Boo enabling the same correction of corneal spheric collaboration and resulting in comparable distance image quality to the Technus one-piece IOL model ZCBU and the Sensar one-piece IOL model AAB00 for a three millimeter pupil. Now here in red, however, clinically meaningful extension of depth of focus has not been demonstrated in clinical trials. In general, extending the depth of focus negatively affects the quality of vision at far distances. Vision quality can be estimated using non-clinical testing. Let's go through that. Here's their figure one. This is the through focus MTF, which is modulation transfer function measurements. And this is an eye model, three millimeter pupil and white light. Let's color code this for you. So there's the ZC boo in blue and the higher the peak, the better the image quality, and there's the eye hands in purple. It's pretty good too. So if we look at the bottom there for defocus, at zero or plano, that's of course our far distance. And the eye hands and the ZC Boo are close. Yes, for far distance, ZC Boo actually gives a little bit better MTF there. Now if we look at the defocus, I've added in the distances there in the blue. So minus a half diopter is two meters, one is, uh, diopter is one meter, minus one and a half diopters is 67 centimeters, etc. But think about this, outstretch your hand, put your fingers in front of your face and extend your hand as far as you can. If you're about my height, somewhere right around six feet or 180 centimeters, you're gonna find out that you're not going to be able to hold things very close. 67 centimeters is pretty far away. That's probably a desktop computer that's just at fingertips distance. Closer reading or typical reading is more like 40 centimeters. And you can see neither lens really gives that at that 40 centimeter range. So in red, you can see the light energy is taken from that red zone and added here to the green zone. So yes, the total number of photons entering the eye is going to stay the same. 
you're just going to shift where they are delivered. And here there is, that green zone is a, an area where there is more light energy and a slightly better MTF at ranges at about one meter and on either side of that. So again, the area under the curve for the ZCBU is just about the same area under the curve for the IHANTS. You're switching the energy from one distribution to the other. Here's the through frequency MTF measurements for different frequencies. Again, same eye model, three millimeter pupil, white light, and you can see that there is a slight difference. The ZCBU does perform better at different frequencies compared to the IHANTS. So for ultimate image quality at the desired focal point of far distance or plano, the ZCBU is going to win. Now here's a source. This is a publication from Johnson & Johnson, sponsored by them. And this was from the highlights of their Frankfurt January 2019 advisory board meeting. European surgeons who had good experience with this. The data comes from Johnson & Johnson. And this shows what is the increase in that depth of focus when you compare the eye hands to the ZC Boo. And you can see where I've drawn the red arrows it's about a half diopter of increased depth of focus where the IHANTS is slightly better than the ZCBU. Well, what does that correlate to or correspond to? So in that same study that says it gives about one line of increased visual acuity for the IHANTS compared to the ZCBU. But remember, look there on the very bottom, this is at 66 centimeters, which for my American friends is 26 inches. And that's binocular vision, both eyes. That's your fingertips with outstretched arms. Only one line of improvement. And then here's another independent one. Notice that there's no financial disclosure from this author. This is Dr. Gill and his uh, um, colleagues from Spain. And this was presented at the ESCRS in 2019 in Paris. And you can see their conclusion is the optical quality of the Technus IHANTS focus for distance vision is slightly lower than the standard monofocal ZC Boo IOLs, but remarkably better than the EDOF Symphony IOLs. For the three IOLs, such quality worsens with a larger pupil. The analysis of the through focus MTF A curves did not show clear evidence that the IHANTS IOL provided focus extension as compared to the standard ZC Boo lens. So remember, the analysis here did not show clear evidence that the IHANTS IOL provided focused extension compared to the ZCBU. So here we have the two lenses. There's the Technus ZCBU, the one with our long track record and excellent outcomes. It's a good lens, and we have enjoyed using it for many years. We'll continue to use it, I think, if we really want to emphasize the very best visual quality. It does a great job there. Now, if patients are willing to sacrifice just a tiny bit of that visual quality at far distance for slightly better intermediate range, the IHANTS is a great choice too. And this lens here now is even prepackaged with the preloaded injector. And that'll give us, again, about a half diopter at 67 centimeters. We are indebted to the engineers who develop the neat products that we use. They're amazing products. And that includes these specialty IOLs. And so the optical engineering behind them, it's really important. And we're very grateful and very thankful for that. Now, importantly, we have to ask ourselves when any new lens comes out, what's the improvement? What's the science behind it? What are the optics? And that is especially important for these new monofocal lenses. So we've got this new Technus IHANTS. And is it a replacement for the Technus ZCBU, the previous lens? Is it an upgrade? Is it an incremental change? What is it? So the one question I ask myself is, is there a situation where I'd rather implant the standard Techno ZCBU instead of the IHANTS? And I just can't think of one. So in that regard, I think the IHANTS is a good replacement for the Techno ZCBU, the standard one. So we'll upgrade to that. Now, keeping in mind the difference in improvement, it's about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 diopters of increase of that depth of focus compared to the Technus ZC Boo. So it's not dramatic, it's not truly giving you reading vision, 
but it, it is gonna give you a little bump in the intermediate vision. And I think that's a good thing. I gotta get back to the surgery here, but thanks for watching. Thanks for watching these videos. And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.